Hello guys, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here teaching you how to do a presence check in Java so you can get that A in your practical exam. So firstly, we're going to have to create a text field so we can get the user input. Just drag and drop one onto the canvas. Um, right click on it, click on edit text, so we can just delete the default text if because I don't like it. Now we want to right click and go to properties. Make sure you go to the code tab. So if you're on the properties tab, you just click on the code tab and you get to this place. You want to find the variable name option and you want to change it by double clicking and typing in a name. I'm going to do txt input. Then you want to click on close. Now we need a button to trigger the presence check so we can check if there is something in the text box. So you want to find the button and drag and drop it onto the canvas. Again, right click, edit text and give it a name, like I'm going to call it check. Now you want to right click, go down to properties and go onto the code and now give it an actual name for this object. So I'm going to call it btn, n, val, I can't type to get, I, I can't type or talk to get, to, I can't type or talk today guys, I'm just really tired. So um, now that we've got our JFrame set up, we can get into the code. So we need to double click on this um, bot button we made. This will give us like a little thingy majigo so we can actually do some code for it. Want to type do the following code. Firstly, we need to get the user input. So we're going to do string. I can't type. Sorry, guys. Oh, my God, I can't type. So we want to do string input. I'm going to call it inputs. You can call it whatever you want. But this is the variable that's going to store the user input from that text box we made. Equals txt input dot get text. So what does this do? We're basically saying to txt input, which is, which is this box, hey, can we have the text that you're holding so we can give it to the input variable. We need to have txt input before the get text method as if it's not there, Java doesn't know who we're asking to get the text from. It's like trying to get a girl's number. If you just say, can I have your number? She won't know that you're talking to her. But if you say her name, then can I have your number? Then she'll give it to you because she knows you're talking to her. Anyway, now we need an if statement. And this is going to be quite big, so um, be ready. So you want to do if input dot trim. I'll explain this in a second. Dot is empty. And then we put this there. So what does this do? You may be asking, wait, where's the equals in here? Obviously, because you know, in if statements, you need to check your condition with something. We're doing a shortcut. So input dot trim basically just removes all spaces from a string. And dot is empty basically checks if the string is empty. So what we're basically doing is we're doing we're removing any space that's in the string, which we got from our text field, and then we're checking, okay, now all the strings are gone, is there anything left in that text field? And obviously, by default, this will return true if there is nothing in the text field. So we're gonna do a J option pane dot show message dialog no you can't leave this blank we're going to have an else so we can tell the user well done for putting in something correct so we're going to do j option pane dot show i can't type today show message dialog no, you entered something. Oh, I need to right click on this and click fix imports. So I'm just going to explain this one more time what's happening to make sure you guys understand. Because this I feel is quicker and sh shorter than doing another way. So basically, firstly, we're getting the um, text or whatever's in this text field. And we're storing it to the input variable. Now we have an if statement. So we're using what was in here and we're removing any space that's in it. Then 
We're gonna check. Okay, now there are no spaces in there. Is it empty? If it is empty, this return, this basically becomes true. So we're technically testing if true, do this and tell the user that they've left it blank. However, say if um, they entered gym with a space at the end, it would remove that space at the end so we just have gym left. Therefore, the text field isn't empty and therefore the user did enter something. So we're gonna, so this overall will return false and we'll tell the user that they entered something. So let's just try this out. So we're gonna click play. Oh, we forgot to input a main, it doesn't matter. It'll do it. Java will automatically put in a main method if we haven't got one, it doesn't matter for this too much. So let's put in, let's just see what happens if we don't do anything. It says, you can't leave this blank. Basically, nothing was put in. There are no spaces, there's absolutely nothing. So it just returns, there's nothing here. So it returned true. Let's put in a space. You can't leave this blank. Basically, it re input held the value of one space. Input.trim removed that space. Dot is empty detected that there was nothing. So it returns true. And it basically told us that you can't leave it blank. Now let's put in two spaces. Let's just put in a bunch of spaces. You can't leave this blank. The same thing happened again. Input took the value of many spaces. Input.trim removed all of the spaces. Dot is empty, saw nothing else. Therefore told us that we can't leave this blank. Now let's put in a name. Let's do Jimmy. Basically what happened, input took the value of Jimmy as that's what's in the text field. Jimmy.trim literally does nothing. You can't trim Jimmy. There's, there, there are no spaces there. Dot is empty returns false as Java's like, wait, the word Jimmy's in there. There is something in this text field, therefore it's not empty. So we're going to return false and tell the user that they entered something. Now we're going to put a space before Jimmy and a space after Jimmy and it still entered something. Basically, input took the value of space Jimmy space, input.trim removed both of the spaces, so it's just Jimmy, dot is empty detected that there's a Jimmy in our input variable, therefore returns false as it's not empty, so it will return you entered something. And that is it guys, so sorry this tutorial took a bit of time, but I just wanted to make sure you guys fully understood what's going on, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you've got any questions or any other solutions to doing the presence check, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys can think up with. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.